Time's going fast. Good questions, Nehemiah. Thank you. Anybody else have a question or anything? Quick, uh, yeah. Claude. Chris? Yeah, quick follow up on that, um, on your comment about going back 90 days and saying, you know, hey, Sean, I spoke to you 90 days ago. Hey, Philip, I spoke to you 90 days, days ago. What at that point, how are you approaching? You know, I feel like you're chasing all of a sudden. How do you maintain the guts structure? Oh, what's the answer is pattern interrupt. Be abrupt. Don't sound like the what's the traditional follow up salesperson yeah, going to sound? Just following up. Do you want to buy my crap? No. Hi, hi. You probably don't remember me, you know, you know, <laughs> and all that. So a pattern interrupt would be, hey, say hello, Chris. Ring, ring. Uh, hello. Hey, Chris, Siri just told me I was supposed to call you today. What's going on? Uh, nothing. It's a rainy day in Philly. Oh, good. Oh, yeah. what? it's so a cheap. It's a cheesesteak day. Oh, I'm sorry. This is Claude Diamond. I got some notes here that you were moving to Houston and you had your, your house must be gone by now, right? And you're in Houston or still in Philly? You said. I'm still in Philly. Yeah. Still in Philly. What's, what do you, the house is sold though, right? Or in escrow? There you go. Love it. See, what? Pattern interrupt into questions. Maybe something funny. Use humor. Tell a story. Tell them you, oh, go ahead. Ring, ring. Ring, ring. Chris, could you help me? I'm so confused. Uh, who? What? I, I'm so confused. I got this thing across. What is it called? Alexa or Siri? Or Siri? And it said I, I said I had to call you. Uh, uh, this isn't about real estate, is it? Can you help me out? Uh, yeah, I like real estate. Oh, okay. Were you buying or selling or investing in real estate? Which one? You pick. I, I was selling. Oh, selling. They, okay. Is this, um, and we spoke what th back in June or something. I don't remember. Who is this? Uh, yeah, you know, my wife said the same thing during our honeymoon. It was so embarrassing. <laughs> Perfect. Boom. Anything. Good pattern interrupt. Anything. Okay. What right now you're, when I do stuff like that, there's a real reason. I, I know it's funny and we're having a good time. But if I do, if I sound like the tradition, if I sound like everyone else, what's my rejection rate, guys? Hundred percent. It's hundred percent because they know how to deal with this character. It the same script, the same per. God, who did I hear the other day? Was it Ron Legrand or? I, they, I think he's him and Grant Cardone sell script books about six hundred pages long, you know, thick and everything. How do you deal with that? Someone asks you a question. And, oh, I read it. Hold on. It's on page 485. Well, I'll be right with you. What are you, you going to do? Look it up? <laughs> Why they do that, Claude? Why did they do it? Because it's too much work to actually teach someone how to relate and talk to people and use sales. Any kind of, I mean, there's a lot of people that have sales systems and they, they all work to one degree or another, but it's work teaching it. And it's when you're dealing with trying to sell thousands of people's stuff, it's easier to just hand them a script book and say, study it. Because when they're not successful, oh, you need to study the script better. Yeah. Now, it, ask me, ask me how I know this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because, <laughs> you, you know, and everything. You know why they sell the script? Because it gives them an excuse to not do the to not do what we're doing right now. You good people always come here on Monday. We practice. I practice every day. This is how you stay sharp. Your professionals, professionals practice. They study and they implement. Every day we talk to people. But every day I watch other videos. I follow other people who have new ideas, good ideas. I read books. I, when I go running, I listen to Audible. Anybody here like audio books besides me? I love them. Oh, yeah. I, when I'm driving. Since I'm driving the bus and I use it, I used to go travel a lot. You, you're watching. I heard you're watching YouTube while you're driving that bus. Who told you that? <laughs> <laughs> I know one guy. I shouldn't tell this. He has one of these million dollar RVs. Is that what they call them? The big buses, but it's got chandeliers and bedrooms and bathrooms and everything. He's got a no, team. No, no, those are called motor coaches. Motor coach. Out. Thank you. He's got a million dollar motor coach. OK, he's got a television set right where he's driving. He actually, when he's on the highway going straight, he actually, he watches movies and things like that. Is that nuts? <laughs> it can't be no worse than drinking. I think <laughs> it's, pro it's, it's probably pretty close. It's absolutely pretty close. So um, 
We're better. You're not an influencer. <laughs> yeah. Um, scripts are okay if you just want to study for a particular, you know, most people ask the same 10 questions, true or false? True. True. And the amateur will answer the questions, 21 questions and everything. The gut salesperson says, guys, oh, Robert Fendler, that's a great question. Now, why is the, now, why did you want to, why did you bring up that you and your wife want a bidet in the bathroom? Why is that so important? Help me out. Well, it's just, uh, we're looking for a cleaner option. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. Does that work? Can guys use that too? I never knew that. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, okay. I guess you, oh, you know, I always thought about it. You pro it's probably because you can brush your teeth while you're sitting on the toilet, right? It's got a faucet yes. there. Yes. Okay. I thought that. Okay. We're going downhill now. Um, <laughs> yeah. the, the thing is um, you've got to be spontaneous.